So let's do the integral of 1 over the square root of x plus the cube root of x. The first thing we should do is rewrite the square root and cube root terms as fractional exponents. So this becomes the integral of 1 over x to the power of 1 half plus x to the power of 1 over 3 dx. With the integrand in this form, we're all set to do a rationalizing substitution. This means we do a substitution to turn the integrand into a rational function in terms of u. When we're trying to do a rationalizing substitution with an integrand containing multiple fractional exponent terms, we need to look at the denominator of each exponent and determine the least common multiple of all the denominators. So in this case, x to the power of 1 over 2 has a denominator of 2, and x to the power of 1 over 3 has a denominator of 3, and the least common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. What we need to do next is rewrite each fractional exponent so that the denominator is 6. So x to the power of 1 over 2 becomes x to the power of 3 over 6, and x to the power of 1 over 3 becomes x to the power of 2 over 6. So now we're all set to do the substitution, u equals x to the power of 1 over 6. This is what we do when we have an integrand with multiple fractional exponents, and they have been rewritten to have the same denominator. We substitute u equals x to the power of 1 over the least common multiple. In this case, that was 6, so we have to substitute u equals x to the power of 1 over 6. Alright, so if we substitute u equals x to the power of 1 over 6, then du is equal to 1 over 6 times x to the power of negative 5 over 6 dx. If we isolate the dx, then dx is equal to 6 x to the power of 5 over 6 du. So what we've done is we have multiplied both sides of this equation by 6x to the power of 5 over 6. And this expression is just equal to 6u to the power of 5 du, since we defined u equals x to the power of 1 over 6, and x to the power of 5 over 6 would just equal u to the power of 5. So this becomes the integral of 1 over u cubed plus u squared, since x to the power of 3 over 6 is just x to the power of 1 sixth, all raised to the power of 3, and x to the power of 2 over 6 is equal to x to the power of 1 sixth, all raised to the power of 2. And this is multiplied by dx, and since dx is equal to 6u to the power of 5 du, we need to multiply by 6u to the power of 5 du. And then if we simplify this expression, this is just the integral of 6u to the fifth divided by u cubed plus u squared du. So to simplify the integrand, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by u squared. So this is equal to the integral of 6u cubed over u plus 1 du. We need to be careful when dividing the expression by u squared because we need to be sure that we aren't dividing by 0, which is undefined. The integrand in terms of u was 6u to the power of 5 over u cubed plus u squared, and when u equals 0, the denominator, u cubed plus u squared, is equal to 0, which means the function is undefined. So the function is undefined at u equals 0, and what we want to ensure is that u squared is not equal to 0. u squared equals 0 if and only if u equals 0, but since the function is not defined on u equals 0, this means u squared is never equal to 0 on the entire domain of the function, so we can divide by u squared without worrying about the possibility of dividing by 0. The next thing we need to do is to use polynomial long division to simplify the rational function. If we take the numerator, 6u cubed, and divide that by the denominator, u plus 1, we get a quotient of 6u squared minus 6u plus 6 and a remainder of negative 6. This means we can rewrite the rational function as 6u squared minus 6u plus 6, which is the quotient, plus negative 6 over u plus 1, which is the remainder divided by the denominator in the previous rational function. This is how you reduce the degree of the numerator in a rational function. Whenever you have a rational function where the degree of the numerator is greater than that of the denominator, you can do polynomial long division where you divide the numerator by the denominator. The rational function can always be rewritten as the quotient as a result of the polynomial long division, plus the remainder divided by the denominator of the rational function. 
This ensures that the resulting rational function you have to deal with has the degree of the numerator less than that of the denominator. So now the integrand is a sum of a polynomial and a rational function, and we can do the integral separately. So the integral of 6u squared minus 6u plus 6 is just 2u cubed minus 3u squared plus 6u. And if we want to integrate negative 6 over u plus 1, that's just negative 6 times ln of the absolute value of u plus 1, and then we need to add some constant c at the end. So if we substitute the x to the power of 1 over 6 back in for the u, this becomes 2 times x to the power of 1 over 6 all raised to the power of 3, minus 3 times x to the power of 1 over 6 all raised to the power of 2, plus 6 times x to the power of 1 over 6, minus 6 times ln of the absolute value of x to the power of 1 over 6, plus 1, plus c. This simplifies to 2x to the power of 1 half, minus 3x to the power of 1 thirds, plus 6x to the power of 1 over 6, minus 6 times ln of the absolute value of x to the power of 1 over 6, plus 1, plus c. We can rewrite this as 2 squared of x minus 3 cube root of x plus 6 times the 6th root of x minus 6 times ln of the 6th root of x plus 1 plus c. We don't need the absolute value before the ln because the 6th root of x plus 1 is always positive.